Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to connect an Arduino Mega 2560 to act as a programmer for an Atmega 328P chip. Uh, as you can see, the new version of the Arduino IDE has a wiring change and it has not been updated on the website. So you can find that drawing in a in the link in the description there for better detail. So we want to do the change of pins to generally it's pin 10 to pin 1 is the main change there. Uh, this reduces the need for a capacitor to the reset. So here is the general synopsis of the circuit, just doing a high detail for you get the idea of how it's joined up. So you've got your resistor and to an LED to the ground, you've got your crystal, your two uh, 22 picofarads uh, capacitors down to the ground, and then there's your connections to your Five volt and ground. So first of all, have the Arduino IDE downloaded. Just open this. All right. First of all, you're going to hit uh, check the version. It's one point eight point five. Uh, then we're going to go tools. We're going to select our board. So we're going to go to the Arduino Mega 2560. We're going to start programming that one first. And then we're going to check what port's on. Mine's on COM3 on my laptop. So next we're going to go to File. We're going to click uh, Examples. And then you're going to go all down to Arduino ISP, Arduino ISP. So what we're going to do here is change the pins as per what it is on to the at mega 328 so what to do to do this we're going to scroll down until we see the pin numbers here so we're going to change this to just like so so this was a new script that was made when you click the isp now upload this to your Arduino 2560. Wait for that to upload. And now this sets it as the programmer. Next thing is to do is to change the chip. So we're going to go to Arduino Pro or Pro Mini. And we're going to go to change just check that it's the 5 volt 16 megahertz for the crystal so now we're going to go a make a burn the bootloader first burning bootloader to either on the board once the bootloading is done we'll see that the flashing light is flashing every second that's a good sign and then we're going to go so our next step is to create a new sketch. The easiest way to do this is to go File, Examples, and Basics, and then go Blink. Uh, now we want to do is make sure that you've got the right pin to your Blink. So mine is on pin 19. So first of all, you do not click the Upload. This is where a lot of mistakes are made. Instead, click Sketch and then Upload using Programmer. Make sure it uploads, be successful, and that is all.